hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, point I'm trying to make now is this. John Ryder against Callum Smith. I did tell you a couple of weeks ago, look, it's going to happen this fight. And it looks like it's going to happen now because Callum Smith's got nowhere to go, has he? Nowhere to go. He didn't move up to 175 because... We all know what Joe Gallagher said about there being bogeymen at 175 on all the oh, shit. that Joe speaks. Now, because he's wrapped the Smiths in Cornwall, hasn't he? Unless there's a big payday coming. For example, Paul Smith against Henri Ward. Paul Smith were never going to get a fight at that money in his life. Right? So, they thought about, he thought about his cup, didn't he, Joe? Just like he is with Callum, but... They've got to put the John Ryder one right, and then they've got to go after the winner, the Canelo and Billy Joe, if that happens. Now, I think it will happen. I think Joe Gallagher will come to the table and they'll try and they'll try and get a bit of a better purse than that but that's not pay-per-view. John Ryder against Callum Smith's not pay-per-view, and Callum Smith's not a pay-per-view fighter even though he's got the credentials, but he's got them by default, hasn't he, really, because they played the waiting game, didn't they? They've, they've knocked a lot of fights back. They didn't want a good ear George Groves, did they, back in the day? They got him at the right time. Now, they've got to fight John Ryder, and this itch needs to be scratched, and then the hardcore boxing fans will get behind uh, Eddie Earn for this fight, because we're all emotionally involved with the John Ryder fight. I am and some of my friends are. John Ryder comes on Boxing Asylum and he's got time for us all. And we all feel bad about what happened with somebody who was similar to us in that Simon Clayton ripping, ripping him off and doing what he did and using John's name. So John Ryder came out that with a lot of credit and showed a lot of professionalism after a lot of people got ripped off with the money. Now, so we all want John Ryder to get the rematch. And then may the best man win. I met Callum a favourite. He'll make adjustments and I'm not so sure if John Ryder can make adjustments but I hope he brings his A game and he gets his payday because John Ryder has had a lot of bad luck and he's a lovely kid. He's a lovely, lovely kid, and like I said, if Eddie Hearn makes Callum Smith against John Ryder, I'll personally send him a gift. Alright, so Eddie, I know you're watching or you'll have your trolls watching. I'm going to send you a gift, Eddie. Alright? I'm going to send you a gift if you, uh, if you've got it in here. I'm going to send you a gift if you can get that fight sorted. Oh, I'll send I'll send you some at Eddie Impulse. I don't know what, but we'll sort something out, okay? But uh, I think it's a good fight. I think it's an headline fight, but I also think it's a fantastic chief support for Kel Brook against Liam Smith. That's how they'll look to do it. They'll look to sell it as a dual pay-per-view. And I think that's good. I think that's good because Callum and Liam, they'll agree, won't they, because they're brothers. Kel might not be happy with it, but where's Kel Brook going if you don't get the Amir Khan fight? I mean, and, and, and I'm unhappy with Kel Brook at the moment as well. Because he's saying, oh, for the first time in years I'm actually doing my training on time and taking it serious. So what does that mean? You've been a taking Mickey out at fans all these years, Kel. I don't want to hear stuff like that. I don't want to hear stuff like that. I'm now going to take it serious. What? what? It's like Dave Allen, he's now saying he's taking it serious. So what does that mean he's been doing for the last 10 years then? Because he wasn't taking it serious when Dennis had him. But if the pennies drop with these fighters, good. But it's amazing, isn't it? Once they get a taste of some decent money, how all of a sudden they want to take it serious. But Smith versus Ryder 2, why the silence of it? Why aren't they coming out now telling us what's happened? 
So that fight's got to be made. If Callum Smith doesn't fight Canelo or Billy Joe in May, he's got to fight. Callum Smith's got to fight John Ryder. And what I think they'll do, they'll do a bumper show in Liverpool. Liam Smith, Kelbrook, Callum and John Ryder in England, and then into the early hours it'll go on to the zone and sky. It'll be a, a bonanza of boxing, they'll call it. Eddie Hearn will try and sell it as a boxing bonanza, won't he? Do you know what I mean? But that's best. That's what I'd do if Dennis said to me, what we're going to do with these fighters here, and they were our fighters, I'd say, well, obviously I'd have a little a say, and everybody else would have a say. They'd go, put your hand up and say, well, I think we should do this. Dennis would be sat like that, feet up, chewing fat, thinking about it, and I think that's the best way. A dual night of boxing, 25 quid. You get the British pay-per-view and then it goes through to the American one for Billy Joe. Because let's have it right, Billy Joe Saunders is not pay-per-view material, is he? But in with right fight he is. That's just my opinion. But why the silence? Come on, Eddie. Let's have John Ryder against, Call uh, uh, against Callum Smith. Kel Brook against Liam Smith in Liverpool, pay-per-view, and then you're going into the, into the night for the American pay-per-view. It's probably even worth 30 quid, that, isn't it? For the boxing across the pond, they could call it, or whatever. But like I said, boxing bonanza, that show would be. And that, for me, would be great. That's a great night of boxing if they can pull that off. So, all right. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>